What up YouTube, Milton Prepper here. So, I know I've been saying that I was gonna make a video. Uh, I made a video on the last night of my underway. So, that was a, that was pretty fun and exciting. But anyways, um, I figured since this is the last week of uh, 2021, finally, I would uh, do a um, a video of the uh, kit that I'm going to be bringing into in uh, 2022. So, um, some of my setups have changed and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, let's move right into it. So, first off, we're going to start with the belt, the plate carrier, and the helmet up there. So, first off, the belt. So here is my belt setup. I don't know if it's fully on the camera. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So starting from my left side to my right side, let's get into it. All right, so all the way my front left, I got a my, um, my baton. It is from uh, ASP or ASP. It's their 26-inch uh, uh, steel collapsible baton. It's got the flared end, so that less slippage. It's a good baton. I like it. Uh, when I wear it, it gets angled over my uh, pistol reloads. Just like that. I can still grab it. Good stuff. And right next to that, uh, double re uh, two reloads from a pistol, Glock 19, 15 round mags. Next to that is two AR mags and a one of these little guys. Let's see if I can get this. I forget what kind of knife this is. Uh, bought a couple years ago but it's looped right there into the molly quick it's on my weak side uh, so I could use my right hand to uh, cover my pistol grab that and just stick 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 something like that M moving next to that is a uh, good old duck pouch uh, this is one of them uh, 511 ones I had this jump dump pouch laying around for the longest time so I figured why not all right I wore it when I was in a, on my duty belt when I was in a ship's reaction force on board uh, Theodore Roosevelt so I mean, it's my personal one so why not keep it cool moving to the center of the back I got my IFAC uh, my blowout kit, actually. Uh, tourniquet at the top with the uh, Blue Force gear uh, tourniquet now straps. This is their uh, HSGI <sighs> Reflex, I think. Uh, it's got grab handles on both sides. Pull it out. Get a nice little carrier. Open up the bungees. Ta-da! Got a whole bunch of stuff in it. Got a... Uh, Mercy trauma dressing, combat gauze, esterol gauze, burn dressing, de de needle, decompression needle, gloves, nasal pharyngeal, chest seals. And just to close that up, just uh, put it back. Okay, now I'll, I'll put it back later. Moving on, right next to that, I have a uh, canteen pouch, uh, AKA general purpose pouch. What, got one quart canteen. Inside it, the canteen. 
cup. Got the nice little flap right there. Could use it as a general purpose pouch, stick other things in there if I don't, if I'm not running water for some reason or another. My daughter's yelling for me. Yep, she's yelling. <laughs> Alright, next to that, you got a Grimlock carabiner with just a pair of gloves on it. And a uh, Safari Land holster. This is their light bearing holster. It's on a uh, one of them um, paddle mid rides. And it's just latched on there with a uh, kind of like a Blade Tech uh, mounting system. I like it because then I could decide, like, if I don't want the whole belt set up, then. I could just like keep this in my car, conceal carry my Glock in my um, sidecar holster, keep this in my EDC, which has a similar securing mechanism. Now I got outside the waistband holster with two reloads, but that's EDC stuff. All right, so that's the belt, stand by. All right, and we're back. Let's see if we're in the camera. There we go. So, play carrier has seen some changes. All right, so I kicked up my uh, neighborhood watch program again. So, why not? Uh, up at the top, notepad, pen, moving down, trauma shears. Picked up the uh, Spirit of System Microfite, excuse me, with the three mag insert, double pistol insert. And the half flap. Some notes. And some beer. Uh, on the left camera bun, I got the uh, double mag blue force gear 10 speed mag pouch. Uh, got, an extra, got a mag right here on my off side. My off hand side. Got three AR mags right there. Two pistol mags. Open up, we got a flashlight and a battery case with a four CR123 alphas, two triple A's, and two double A's. It's the main batteries that I run. Got another 10 speed mag pouch right here with another 30 round mag. So 12, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, my thoughts changed. Who cares? Eat me. <laughs> uh, behind this mag right here, I got my radio antenna sticking out. It's wrapped around the uh, cummerbund for a uh, push to talk mic up here. Grimlock carabiner. Over here, you really can't really see it, so. Got uh, one of them ferro wingman pouches right here so i can stick another mag or another tourniquet or something uh it lays pretty flat it doesn't really get in the way at all and um i have the same exact thing on the other side that my radio is in uh moving underneath the placard got the uh the ferro mini dangler med ab pause no known drug allergies another tourniquet and underneath it, inside it, I got two snacks, cliff bars, and medical, duct tape and gloves. Uh, this is one that I made myself at North American Rescue. Got a quick clot, decompression needle, chest seals, ET emergency trauma dressing, and S-roll gauze. Moving on the back, I leave it empty, blank. Um, that's mostly because I'm going to start wearing a pack while wearing a plate carrier and sitting in vehicles, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I just wanted it to be a little bit more comfortable. I was running the Haley flat pack 
but it wasn't working for me. And then I was wearing the uh, I Do Gear Mini Map. It's a uh, knockoff of the Green Mountain Rangers. They're an airsoft team, but they make gear. They made a mini map, but they were selling it for like $400. And I'm like, oh, screw that. I'm going to spend the 40 But, eh. It is what it is. So, that's the play carrier. And uh, let's move on to uh, helmet setup. Alright, so this is my current helmet right now. It's the same one that you've probably seen before. Made some slight changes. The slight changes, I took off the uh, the TLR7 that was right here. It was just getting in the way. Added some goggles. Ear Pro is still the same. They're the uh, Peltor range guards. Not comms capable, but it's the nature of the beast. I mean, I got a family of three to feed. Um, a uh, freaking... Um, ESPS, uh, ES, uh, MS2000 strobe, That's, those are the words I'm looking for, MS2000 strobe, right here on the back, for uh, marking, myself, it's got the IR capable as well, let's see if that works, there we go, uh, cable management, just use some uh, one wrap, attach it to the velcro, uh, ESS goggles and a uh, V light from uh, SNS Precision with the blue, the red, the green, red and green, and then off. But yeah, other than that, that is what I will be rolling into 2020 with. Uh, I got some other support gear, like uh, for example, if I'm running my shotgun, got a. Uh, Bandolier with 25 shot, a double up buck, nine shot, and then I got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 15, 21 rounds of 12 shot double up buck on a placard that I could replace that, take out that mag and that mag, and run shotgun. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a fun year. And uh, other than that, this has been a Melt and Prepper. Hope you guys like the video. Please feel free to like comment subscribe i'm still seeing about 90 percent of the viewers are unsubscribed so please by all means go ahead and um i'll um, upload some videos uh between now and uh when i leave take care everyone have a good one